Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Wish to live in more interesting times. Yeah. Never wanted the easy path. Let's loot the corpses. Everything that I can sell. Location of reserve supplies. Ooh. Mm, when I think he casts fly, the next man will open up. Oh, that's. Yeah. Luckily, they weren't flying. What's hiding here? You can cast mage hands as a bonus action on a disc. No traps, please. For you, because you are making good use of those. Better than I would. Mm. Okay, I don't need so many short swords. Maybe I need more pockets. I saw some more notes. Huh? First, to put my hands on everything. To the horrible Lord Eomain, I have received your request for the support of the Knights of the Shield in the expansion of the fish oil trade. The Shield would not be averse to such an arrangement, but the risks it would incur rather outweigh the cut that you have proposed. In short, we are prepared to do business with you. But let us meet to hammer out the finer details. I eagerly await your response, Master Your Nightshade. I have no idea if this name should tell me anything, but it doesn't. <laughs> there was something here. An Archduke's leadership, public works. A pamphlet by the Gortash for Archduke voluntary campaign. Why are those things here? I thought Gortash was plotting recently. For nice use only, do not distribute. Buried behind counting house. Path to Baldur's Gate, near Upper City. Nine fingers. Here follows a report on the inroads upstart smuggler Enver Gortash has been making on the illicit arms trade in the Shontar Valley. Though inroads badly understates the case, annexation would be more apart. apart. The former black market leaders, the Knights of the Shield and outside the city, the Zentarim, have largely been supplanted by Gortash's operation. Illegal arms have never been a major component of the guild's business, but given his apparent ambitions, to, it would be unwise to assume that Gortash will stop there. He bears watching closely. Uh, okay. Wait. A lengthy essay on the inevitability of more decay, the opportunities it presents, and the ways to capitalize upon them. Morality is not absolute, while moral decay is not immortal. immoral. One man's decline is another man's gain. Those who play and those who make the rules. How to win the game? Thanks to Gortash's steel watchers, it's becoming more and more difficult to have eyes on what's going on in this city. Hear me out. What if we make a play to reclaim the shield of Sylvam? If it can keep a beholder at bay, surely you can do something to get around those dim scray eyes. Please find within our latest intelligence on the city's lockdown and alternative smuggling routes to the upper city. Take note and destroy after reading. Mm -hmm. Do what has been asked of you. Stop the interlopers. Take back what is mine, else your punishment will be severe by order of your queen. I managed to find that. Thank you for bringing me back. Look around. 
You'll find some of my things still intact. A recipe for fiddlehead soup. A favorite meal. When I had need meals like that. My old sword. My first purchase as an adventurer. No use to me anymore. It's yours. If you want it. Long sword, that's not for me. You mean the shell? The shell. A keepsake from my final voyage. Pinched in a moment of sentimentality. Hmm. What's that? My cutlery set. A gift from my mother. The butter knife is missing, but otherwise it looks to be complete. So brief, so simple, and yet full. I should save. I will. <laughs> I have too much stuff now. Never a dull moment. You can turn that. What it do? I don't have any potions you can use. Sharp as ever. Looking ahead. Swift as my feet can carry me. Hi. It's not safe here. It's too late for me, but not for you. Run as fast as your legs can carry you. Uh, the... You're hurt. What happened? Orin happened. She seized me from our camp, bore me here to Baal's enclave. Lit my belly and filled her cup with my blood. A toast, she said, to her false god. She told me when her cup ran dry, she'd come for the rest of me. I'm done for. I will hold her off as long as I'm able. Run while you still can. Don't even think about fighting her. This foe is too powerful. Oh. Well, I'm not leaving you, we're coming with us. You let the Githyanki weigh you down. She would make corpses of you all. This is Orin. Why are you so short? Look at it. Crawling and sniffing and rooting around in the filth. Is it my nether stone you seek, little piggy? Orin will take care of you and your little pet. What have you done with her? Nothing. No, not a thing. It's 
still gasping and gagging on the foul airs of Baal's temple. <laughs> I will not slice. Her kind die too easily. The murder lord demands a better offering. Something new. Sticky, sweet, and delicious. He wants you. Mm, that made my skin crawl. Mm. The murder lord wants me. Why? Catherick's killer turned the corpse lover to carrion when you took his stone. Oh, but he was a dull kill. No blood to spill, no guts to rip. A desiccated husk, all dust and hollow. You must be sharpened before you set your edge against my skin. <laughs> Why do I always get myself stuck in those situations? How exactly do I sharpen myself? Against the tyrant's throat, of course. <laughs> when you heard Gortash's whispers. I see how your skull swarms with his promises. He whinges and wails over the crown of Carsus, wanting to command it without me. Oh. How I long to slit his poxy smile from ear to ear. But I can't touch him. He bound my blade when we first conspired. Gortash didn't want me at first. Didn't trust me. Got me to wag my tongue, swear an oath never to hang him from the hooks. Drip drain him into father's open jaws. You must kill the tyrant. Take the netherstone from his corpse and bring it to my temple. There we slice and shred each other. The survivor claims the stones. What's left of the other is balls. Agree, and I will bring my assassins to heal. They watch you always, longing to spray the crimson from your veins. Refuse me. And you'll learn what happens to those who defy Baal's doctrine. So will your friend. Oren demands a fight to the death. The prize for the victor, the nether stones, and the chance to control the crown alone. Accept, and you must kill Gortash. Refuse, and your companion's life may be forfeit, as might your own. Orin's assassins will hunt you like prey for slaughter. Hmm. So you're stabbing your ally in the back, or rather, asking me to do so. Allies? <laughs> oh no, we had a balance. The chosen three. <laughs> But it tumbled when you turned the Bone Lord to ash. Now, Gortash tries to gouge me from the city. That festering inadequate thinks me a flesher, butchering and cleaving only to whip the herd towards his tin men's oppression. You must kill him. Gore him like a pig prepped for the spit. Only then will you be sweet and sharp, ready for the murder lord's purpose. My original plan was to kill you both. Sounds like you can't def defeat Kortash without me. You need me. Need? No, no, no. I do not need. You are made of nothing. Meaningless flesh and bone. I do not need. I offer. Ball's age approaches, and you could be there to see it. An idol of flesh, made to welcome his bleeding dawn. 
old are you? There is time for you yet. Time to sing. Do not underestimate his steel watch. Seek their cradle in the lower city and skewer their skull meat. Make them rust and blood. Then you can gore the lordling again and again and again. But listen, listen close, bone killer. Step in my domain while the tyrant still sucks air, and I will carve your failure into your pretty plaything's skull. <laughs> Bring me his stone, and I will set the bait free. <laughs> Only then can you and I make exquisite butchery. The victor will set the world to slaughter. <laughs> that is Baal's offer. He will not make another. <laughs> Does that mean? I'm thinking. I'm thinking very hard. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to deal with any of them. Why do I have dog's collar equipped, by the way? I don't know. And I have no idea how long I had it equipped. A dispatch from the grove. Life carries on there in our absence. That's not Just really... as nature intends. That's not... My chosen successor, Francesca, has proven to be a wise choice. Perhaps the wisest I ever made as Archdruid. That's not what I wanted to talk about. Uh, okay, um, what news from the grove? Wounds have healed. Damage has been undone. Balance has been restored. Those who seek to serve nature there can once again do so with all their hearts. There have been difficulties. Some initiates harbor too much admiration for Korga's course of action. Francesca will do what she must to rid them of such notions. She is well suited to the task. Better than I, perhaps. To cleanse a land of shadows is one thing. But to sway a heart from a dark path is another matter entirely. I was all too eager to surrender my responsibilities towards the Grove. <laughs> Perhaps I was never meant to be Archdruid, to be a leader. You serve the Grove well, and found a worthy successor. No one can ask more of you. Still though, I cannot help but wonder if there was more I could have done. Perhaps, Oak Father willing, I may yet have the chance someday. Forgive me. The Shadow Curse occupied me so entirely and for so long, I almost missed the purpose it gave me. Now I must find a new one. Have you heard from Daniel since we moved on? I have. He speaks to me during my nightly meditations. He is well. And Oliver also. At times they are one, and at others they divide. Easier for playing, perhaps. And the land thrives also. I doubt you would recognize it. Perhaps one day, you and I can both return and see it for ourselves. Hmm. 
Really, no one wants to. Well, I mean, that's what's causing it. All. We've got to get Lazel back. If that means killing Gortash, nothing would give me greater pleasure. You almost pity Orin taking Lazel like that. Give her half a chance, and she'll rip out the shapeshifter's spine. That's true. That's safe. I still need to wait. She told us about going into her domain. Wait, first things first. Uh, can you guys get back? It was here. It was here. Too high. That's so typical of you. Let's do it one by one. Didn't you have... Oh. I did not check that, Justy. Version plans for Browder's Gate. Wait, actually, go down here. Can you move it? Come on. Hmm. No, you don't have any spasms. Uh, can you by any chance bring yourself a crate so you can go up? Because it's so uneven. Sharp as ever. Okay. Can't give up now. What path lies before me? Pretty sure we need to destroy this. Can you try? Only had the tools at least ten damage can damage it. But I'm fairly sure this one. Yeah. Not only it's sturdy, but it all oh. Defender of the people. Uh, there's no way you're gonna deal that much damage. Uh, unless... It will add? No. Hot key I could use. I'll get back to you when I'm done with that. Okay, so I just gave him the potion of Colossus. Another step forward. 
Okay, so we are oh so we are back here. What's that place? What is this place? Greetings, child of faith. Be welcome to the Stormshore Tabernacle. You have come far, I perceive. How may I serve you this day? Who are you? I am Vicar Humbletoes, guardian of the Stormshore Tabernacle. I keep the peace in this sacred place and guide those in need. What can I do here? Here, clerics may commune with their gods and even hear their responses if they are so favored. I am also granted the power to provide holy resurrection through sales of revivification scrolls. Give me those. Are holy items available here to purchase? Of course, my child. Within limits. Behold my wares. Okay. Ooh. Mantle of the Holy Warrior. Give me that. Uh, this is Morning Star. Reviving Hands. Re Ooh. When you heal a creature against the effective of this blade or but it's medium medium armor. I have enough. That's the question because I would like gladly take those and holy water. After all, we I want to go against the vampires. for me. Mm. Made away this, send to camp, send to camp. Equip the ingi. Ten turns, ready to hold power that emboldens nearby allies. Hmm? These street trash need to watch their tone. I don't tolerate disrespect. Really? I don't like this. I don't like the look in some of their eyes. Oh, she's unconscious, but she's alive. The citizen is unconscious and won't be waking up anytime soon. And I won't help them. Strong up to die by the city. A real people's board she would care. Still need to. Oh, all oh, right. <laughs> I forgot that we were supposed to talk with the guy. Will you hide? Not. Oh, not that I'm bringing us another cat. You kill the rats yet? I heard commotion in the cellar. Good. Perfect. Here. You take this. Thank you. And do not worry. Chef Revere's eyes will be kept most peeled for murderous knaves. Sure. Either way. Is there any difference how that works? No. 
doesn't grab any other benefits. Heading to the roof. Saw your own drinks in the meantime. Hmm, have those two rooms. Of course I heard about it. Something missing. Hmm, missing? Dresser that Willoughby, though he should lose the monocle. Hey, smart stuff. I'm Willoughby, a comedian. And we got a little contest here called the Laugh Riot. You want to play along? I'm pretty sure we saw it already. Um, I'm Bart. We, okay, I'll bite. What's this Laugh Riot? It's all about the Buffo Yorks. We see you can tell the funniest stories, and the winner gets the prize. Okay, all right, you're on. It's got to be better than killing rats. Great! I'll go first to show you how it's done, and then you can see if you can top me. Hello, Baldarians! You know, I wouldn't be here tonight, except my wife ran off with a cambium. That's right, I got fiend zoned. We used to have a drow comedian. I had to ask her to stop casting Tasha's hideous laughter on the audience. Then I asked her how many drow it takes to light a torch, and she said, none. We have dark vision. <laughs> so I killed her. The elf song patrons think that one's funny. There may be hope for you yet. Hmm. Your turn, smart stuff. Knock them dead. But not literally. Got me? Okay, let's see. Mm. So, what's the difference between a dwarf and a bullet? You can toss the bullet. Adequate, but no better. I tried sleeping with a dragonborn the other night, but it didn't work out. He had a reptile dysfunction. <laughs> Win or lose, I'm stealing that one. I will kill you. Our cleric tried to cast healing ward on a ham, but it was already cured. <laughs> Big jokes are never wrong. Well done. Cheers, whistles and applause. You're almost shocked. Yeah, yeah, you're hilarious. Now get out of here before I lose my job. <laughs> Loser. Interesting. Oh, please don't do that. Okay, we still have some of the streets left to explore. Wait, this place has second floor. I'm looking for familiar names. Oh, so this is my place. Crap, where's the kid? I'm just a cat. P -p please talk to Yenna. Why are you so scared? Why are you so nosy? Do you know what happened to Yenna's mother? N nothing good, I don't think. She was so very sick. M maybe she made like cats and went off to. To spend a last life. Is Yena mistreating you? Y Yena is my best friend. She's kind. Her help her, not me. May I pet you? But please don't. I mean, Scratch could be the reason why he's so afraid. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Of course I am. Now more than before. Oh, 
Well, I thought we would be able to actually investigate the murder that happened here. But I don't see anything. It is here, here. Mrs. Highbury, I prefer to conduct tastings individually, so I may assess your palate. The dwarf. Call me Cora, Master Metzley. And I'm afraid I must insist on their joining us. Wine's no good without company, after all. Really? I would love a glass, Master Metzley. See, Master Metzley. Surely you can't turn away a prospective customer. I was in business for a great many years, Master Metzley, and my wife, as always, is most correct. Very uh, well. Here, now leave me to attend my customers, please. Hey. Can you hide? Just like all the time. Nope. Ah, oh, there's another one. Dolor. They're all Dolors, right? So I must have succeeded on that throw. Wait. Oh, no, he just changed. Okay, use Shola. And hit him. What? Ugh. Unfortunately, you are not. This so close, beautiful. Leave me alone. Yes, no. No move back. Don't worry, I've got this. It 
it really is a shame that I cannot hurt them. The push. Jump over here. Enough to make the guests forget how dangerous Baldur's game is. So, lock. Nothing important is ever easy. He flew off quick. As long as he goes loose, the killings won't stop. Where is my speaking with that? Oh, I don't have it now. Please, leave me to my memories, if you wouldn't mind. Actually, I mind what I need to. The corpse does not respond. Really? Well, that's interesting. orange <laughs> so it only makes sense that we take it wait cellar 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 hatch oh before I die again what? you go first that might be worth a look yeah Another key. Fly universal resistance. What the scratch is bold doing here? Oh, that's interesting. Damn it. I tried it again with guidance. What we didn't see. It was booby trapped. Okay, we can go out of here. Wait. Then which? I thought it was supposed to be. Never mind. Never How mind. something have you seen him have you seen my dad who's your dad his name is Yatsik. he's a super brave knight we came here together but he had to leave he said that cora would look after me oh she's really nice but i miss dad 
There's a sadness in her voice that betrays a wisdom beyond her years. She knows her father's not coming back. What use are city walls if the people within them must still live in fear? Has Cora been looking after you like you just said? Cora's the best. She looks after all the kids who've got nowhere to go. She's helping me write down all of my dad's stories so everyone will know how brave he is. Are you an orphan too? Well, I am. But I prefer not to think about it. But don't you miss your parents? I miss mine. Mum made the best apple pie. My friends are all the family I need. Do you have any friends? I've got Molly and Cora. She makes a really good pot roast. Don't tell anyone I said this, but I actually think it might be better than Mum's. Hmm. I have to keep going. So they were taking care of the orphan kid. Ooh. Here we go. Always room for more. Ooh, I have no idea what happened. Dear Cora, I've tried to write this twice now, and I think it's best plain. Yatek is dead. Drow and hobgoblins tore through our ranks, burned Wukin's rest to ash. Whatever you tell Molly, just make sure she knows her dad is the bravest man who ever lived. May Helm watch your heart and home. Fist Effen. Something good here, I hope. I'm not gonna steal from them. I'm just looking for something important. I, more than that, I think someone already stole from them. I don't know why it's so laggy in here. In buildings. Thank you, Cora, for taking Molly under your wing. I wish there was another way. I wish I could stay and look after her myself. But when the fist calls, I have to answer. I'll be back before you know it. I'm sure. I've got a friend looking out for me. After all, you're vigilantly. That's it. Oh, come on! He made it! And I have more infernal iron, steel. Infernal metal. I have more infer infernal metal for him. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. Oh my goodness. Thank the gods. I should have known you'd make it to the city all right, but you never know. Nice workshop you have here. Uh, I'm shocked by my good fortune, quite honestly. Uh, rent is fair, and the setup is just what I need to start making a living again. Without you, I'd be dead in a ditch twice over. Instead, I have my own smithy in the city. At least, until the Absolute's army mows us down. But hey, anything could happen in the meantime. Optimism, right? You bet. Could I take a look at your wares? Of course. Wouldn't be alive to hold them if it weren't for you. Ooh. You can fit them with a long strider. <laughs> it's me tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> we sold him that. I ever... <laughs> That would be great for Lazel. Yeah, he mostly has everything that we sold him. Good seeing you here. Mm. Oh, I thought it was Volo. Hmm? Oh my goodness. As long as I don't move the camera, it's okay. No! Wait. What? Uh. I mean, he is undead, but. No! Oh, 
I thought I was done for. <laughs> Lady Luke, bless you. Uh, what were you doing down there? Sightseeing. What do you think? I filched the wrong baldy and got myself buried for the trouble. Stone Lord, he calls himself. More like stone shies. <laughs> Uh, who's this stone lord? The gang boss has been all up in Nine Fingers territory. He's brutal. Steer clear. Look, I ain't got much in the way of thanks, but the stiff below has some fancy doodads. You're welcome to them. You mean this one? Seems like a good moment to talk. No, oh, thank you. My mum's down there. I put a candle in the box with her. She never liked the dark. So something is killing parents. Wait. Oh my goodness, please don't. Oh. More tries closed. Hello? Anyone here? Hello? Okay, never mind. Um, ah, doing both mausoleum. It's weird that we can actually try and uh, visit those places because so far it was close. Uh, no, I don't want to go. What? We must play here. He won't listen to me. I told him it's naughty to play in graveyards. Come out, sister. I will find you. An air of decay hangs over the stooped beggar's form. The smell of rot. The smell of death. Sister always hides from me. She likes to play. Do you know where she's hiding? In the ground. Over there. <laughs> Some people covered her in dirt. <laughs> but I will find her again. Have you no know else? No other family. Mother and father hide in the ground with her. I hope I find them soon. I like this game, but it is less fun to play it alone. What the actual hell? My Agnes should be dancing in the market. Flowers in her hair. Not here. Not like this. I hope the Grand Duke strings up whoever did this to her. I'm gonna open the crypts. If they have so much problems with undead. Out. The Mortark don't take kindly to raising the dead. But I won't be long, I promise. What the actual... Who... Wait, what? Who are you raising from the dead? My big brother, Garrett. He got killed by that murderer guy. But I'm gonna fix him. Now, keep watch. Exorde me, Merkel. Resuscita fratemeum. Immorte ad me redigo. The air crackles with power before fizzing out. The child has power but lacks control. Oh, you're close, Merkel. I can feel your shadow. Give my brother back, please. Your brother deserves to rest in peace. Let him. The Mortark said the same thing. 
But I miss him. A lot. Fine. I won't try again. For now, at least. What's the point in having magic if I can't save you? What is, what's the hell wrong with kids in here? Walking around, raising dead. Ground nozzle. Would say I like some flowers. They do a wonder, brightening up a grave. I bring fresh ones to my husband every few days. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm not. My husband was an ass. <laughs> but he gave me three beautiful kids. So the old goat gets flowers. I get them up by Bloombridge. A druid lives that way, so you know they're extra fresh. Hmm. What used to do, do the dead with have with flowers? They're not for the dead. They're for the living. Same with funerals, coffins, all of it. I put flowers on my husband's grave for me. To remember the good from the bad. We get on better now than when he was still alive. Okay. Of course. No, I don't think I'm Come back any time. Sure. You won't find fresher. Mm -hmm. We still need to go back out of the city. I just want to make sure we are not going too far. I don't... We still have to talk to them. Wait, we need to go over here, I believe. I see it, sweetie. Oh, stand up. You're slouching. Clank? <laughs> Let me back in. I'll bring the Rowakin out here, you tin tube. You tell the Rowakin I went for his god's damn night song, and now he has to pay up. What are you looking at? It's you. Hi. You went looking for the night song after me. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you found it. Well, I found the night song. It was an heroic, but an asimar. An asimar? Hells. If I'd known, I'd have asked for more gold. Kidnapping costs more than theft. Don't forget, I'm the one who gave you that contract. I want my cut. Typical. Um. Mm, 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 mm. Piss off. Plus eight. Plus guidance. Plus advantage. I ought to knock some sense into you. But you know what? I'm too goddamn tired. If she's out there, I'm gonna find her. You mark my words. Oh, it would be better for you if you didn't find her. She's gonna make you shorter about a head high. Oh, he's so cute. Roland? You! What are you doing here? Whoa, the fuck. Me? What are you doing here? This is uh, my apprenticeship. It has not been what I expected. Master Leroican is um, a difficult man. He's consumed by his pursuit of the night song. I haven't learned a thing, and I fear it'll stay that way. <clears throat> but never mind that. What can I do for you? Do many people ask about the night song? It's all I deal with these days. People claiming their trinkets are the real night song. Looking for the mountain of gold the rogue can promise. There's even a pamphlet. Take one. They're on the desk. Okay. Um, nope. Where is he? Oh, so I need to tell Roland about it. 
trader has no interest in selling that particular item. Though you are welcome to purchase something else. Trader, it's Roland. Okay. I thought it was the pamphlet. How can I help you? Okay, uh, I have information on the night song. I want to speak to Laura Arkan. Then head upstairs and be careful. Something terrible might happen if you're not paying attention. Oh, hi. Welcome, dear patron. Uh. Oh, it crashed. To the floor at the top of the stairs. What? If you have information about the night song, great riches await. If you are here to waste the great wizard Laroakin's time, reconsider. I don't Let think... your knowledge determine your path forward. What? The night song is a druidic staff that allows its bearer command over an army of ancient beasts. The night song is an ancient potion that allows its drinker to become irresistibly attractive to man and god alike. The night song is a priceless ruby from a realm beyond our own. The night song is an immortal being, the child of a deity. I know which one to choose. I just don't know if he is, is if he knows. Much improved, but uh, still leave something up to chance. Yes, sir. Uh... All right, crank. Ready? Aim. Oh. Mm. We have a visitor. That is, McClaw, you may go. Night song. Surely you wouldn't have entered my tower without the night song in hand, hmm? Surely my worthless apprentice wouldn't have allowed you to waste my time. What do you want with her? Her. Fascinating. You've been to Shah's temple, haven't you? To the Shadowfell? You speak as though you've seen the nice one yourself. Alas, I've paid for a good deal of very privileged information. Now I await the results of the generous contract I've commissioned. Answer now, or see what happens when fools misuse my valuable time. Hmm. I regret you to I regret to inform you oh this is gonna go badly. I regret to inform you the night song is no more killed in the shrine temple where she was held. She was a Salonite held by Sharans. Her death was inevitable. Is that meant to be some consolation? She, it, was the key to my immortality! How can this be? How can this be? Shit! I'm too good. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm too nice. Okay, but that 
is gonna be it for today. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.